Hello everyone and welcome back to Pippa Funnel the Golden Stirrup Challenge. We're at the start of week four. Um, I guess I, I should go to the library first. I think that's the most important thing to do first. And then we'll do horse care and my foal's needs. And um, maybe show jumping to finish off. All right, let's get started. Okay, into the library. Um, oh no, that's the other thing. I should have gone to the student center so I could check the weather because I can't do that in the library. Ah, oh, dang it, because I can't see now if it's going to be sunny, like suitable to wash my horse because it's so much faster than brushing my horse. Alright, um, where's the books? Here. Alright, let's see what is new dressage wise. Is there anything new? Oh, half pirouette. Okay, uh, we don't need to make notes of these. Salute walk. Alright, no, that's the only new dressage thing. Is there anything new in terms of folk hair? Nope. Okay, well, that was easy. Only one thing. Alright. Shouldn't have done horse care so soon. I should have done, gone to the student center before doing horse care. It just means it'll take me a bit longer. All right, and as usual, I'll skip over this because it's long and boring. All right, time to take care of my fold duckies needs. Okay, um, that could be, sh no, that's shaking the head. And, okay, I'm gonna need my notes for these. What is this first one? Okay, so that's swaying head from side to side. That's different to the second one. Um, let me have a look at my notes. Okay, uh, pacing up and down, comes over to you, uh, oh, here, if he shakes his, okay, if he shakes his head, you should attach the halter. Listen, drops one foot, um, eyes are weeping, having difficulty placing his foot on the ground, pacing up and down, rubs himself on his mum. Sway, there we go. Sways his head from left to right and seems to trample the ground impatiently. It's because he wants to play a tire attached to a tree. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's what this is. Shaking the head from left to right. Okay, let's do play with a tire. Yay! And I'm pretty... Oh, this is cute! Oh. I'm pretty sure the next one was just the... um. Yeah, the halter one. So, do some learning, isn't it? Yep. Yes! And I can't remember what the last one was. I think that might be weepy eyes because he's he's squinting his eyes so I think that's weepy eyes I can't oh I can't remember what the what you do for weepy eyes though uh ah uh, yeah difficulty opening them eye drops okay so that's in the medical for eye drops yes oh and we have the vet out doing it why is he smoking a pipe while doing it? All done! Alright, I have a lot of tokens, I need to go shopping. Okay, let's finish off the day with show jumping. Okay, in, uh, fences are closer together and this course is no exception. Oh, okay, uh, be careful, especially on the two combinations. Alright, here we go. Okay, we're doing okay. Got one rail down. 
That's all right. Yes. Okay, we're doing okay this time. Okay. It looked like it went red, but it's all right. Yes. Here we go. Oh, okay. Just a rail down. That's all right though. 9.2 out of 10. That's good. Okay, well, this week we have to get eight and everything, except for dressage, which is weird. We only have to get seven. Okay. All right, Tuesday, I need to go to the center to see when would be a good day to do my horse care. I actually decided to risk it and wash my horse um, in the horse care. It was snowing and he was not happy. So I'm gonna see which days are sunny. Um, we'll do fall learning and I guess uh, cross country and then we can go to the shops. All right, so I was talking to Miguel last time, I'm pretty sure. But first, before I forget, I want to check the weather. Uh, let me check the weather, please. There we go. Uh, okay, oops. Here we go. Okay, so today, Tuesday, is going to be sunny. Wednesday's cloudy. Okay, I'll do horse care on either Thursday or Friday. Probably Thursday. We'll do horse care so that I can hose it because it just goes so much faster than brushing. It's very handy. Okay, and Miguel, let's continue your story. Do you feel ready to tell me the rest of your tale? Yeah, all of it. My dad was left alone with me and became moody and irritable. Never violent, just sad and bitter. I had no idea what to do to make things better, and my mother's leaving had knocked me sideways. The only thing I could do was escape, and I took refuge in literature. I read book after book, hoping each day my dad would calm down. He stopped going to work, and the money started running out. The debts built up, and he was forced to close his practice. With no way out, he had to go illegal. What did he do? Have you ever heard of replacement hormones? Oh, can't say I have. It's a pharmaceutical treatment against aging. I don't see the relation. The main constituent of the hormones is estrogen, yeah. which is extracted from the urine of pregnant mares, known as urine donor brood mares. Yeah, I've heard about that. In my home region, the practice is outlawed. The worst part of it is what happens to the foals born from the brood mares. Mostly, they're sent straight to the abattoir. That's horrific. How can anyone do such a thing? I agree. However, my father got caught up in a trafficking ring. He'd sell on the foals and keep the profit. He turned into the kind of businessman who had ruined his life. It was at that moment I underwent a major change. What did you do? I I'll tell you later. You just said at the beginning you were going to tell me the whole story. You came back to hear my story? I was afraid you'd be disappointed in me, seeing what my father did. I mean, you're not your father, so why would I be disappointed in you? Miguel, you have nothing to be ashamed of. I'll never, ever hold you responsible for your father's actions. Please do carry on your tale. When I discovered the man who had spent his life protecting animals was sending them to their execution, I lost my senses and I tracked down a breeding farm my father dealt with. In the middle of the night, I broke into the farm, opened all the gates, and made all the mares escape over the plains. To where, though? Did you just let them loose into the wilderness? Where they could, like, get injured or hurt or starve? I had no idea what I was doing. Maybe I was sending them to their death. Yeah. Maybe it was just wrong, but I had to do something. Change something. I couldn't just sit there and do nothing about this atrocity. I never went back to my father's house. I thought long and hard and decided that... To make up for the errors of the past, I had to devote my life to horses. 
so I joined a farm and became assistant to a breeder, a good man who taught me everything I know today. I won a number of local competitions, and Harry spotted me and offered me to join the Sycamore Academy. But deep in my heart, I still feel great sadness and anger towards my father. Poetry helped me no end during this period. It brought a sense of balance and serenity amid the disappointment. You were a very good man, Miguel. Don't beat yourself up because your father got it wrong. You've chosen your own path, the right one. You fully deserve what you're living now. Thanks. Talking to you has done me the world of good. It's been a long time since I opened my heart to someone. I feel like I can really trust you. Aww. I trust you too, Miguel. That's the end of my tale. I hope you're not too shocked. It was tough going, but it takes more than that to knock me down. Considering what you went through and what has become of you, I'm proud of you. Okay, well that's the end of Miguel's story. The only one we have left is Aureli or Aureli. I don't know how it's pronounced. Um, but yeah, she's the last one we have to listen to. We don't have to, but <laughs> last time we can listen to. Okay, time to do some learning. And I think this gets more difficult. No! Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I think this gets more, oops, more difficult as you go along um, as well. Oops, I messed up. Oh dear. Okay. There we go. We're on the right path now. Yeah, it's already, I can see it's already gotten more difficult than it was when we first started doing this. And it's snowing today. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. I'm messing up. Don't Back the other way direction. now. There we go. Good job, Ducky. Okay. Faster! We trot in a bigger circle. Can't Move I? it! Oh jeez, you didn't have to be say that to him like that. <laughs> like, it's a bit harsh. Oops, hit a red dot. Oh, there we go, 10 out of 10! My horse's level is down? Why is it down? I didn't even do anything with my horse. All right, time for cross country. Let's go. Can I do it? Oh, I, oh, I went too early. That'll teach me to try to gallop into jumps. I should buy I should know by now not to do that. I just wanted to try. There we go. Oh, this is a big one. Well, oh, half of a big one. Jeez, that's a sharp turn. Yes. What? 
Oh, come on. Two refusals. That's bad. There we go. There's a big one there. That's a new one. I haven't seen that kind of obstacle. The one in, a, in the middle there. Yes. Okay, now we can gallop for a bit. Oh, but not too much. Dang it, I was hoping to get a perfect jump. See, this is where we need the gallop. Should have oh wait never mind we're finished <laughs> eight out of ten oh okay so the minimum i need to get next time is also eight out of ten so that i can make it to eight out of ten <laughs> oh special event a cruel blow that day i was packing my bags for the big departure to the beachwood academy carol was helping me and supporting me through the trauma it was harder and more stressful than any competition this was it I was to say goodbye to the Sycamore Academy. Next time I competed, my old enemies would be my new colleagues, and my old friends would be my new enemies. This cabin looks so nice. Like, I want to live there. If you go, we'll lose. You're not helping, Carol. It's painful enough as it is, so please quit the guilt tripping. I'm not guilt tripping you, Flora. Everyone likes to say I'm off with the fairies, but I know exactly what you're going through. Life is a game of choices, and you've got to stick by them, even the most impulsive. Your choices make you who you are, and people wake up to that one day. Thanks, Carol. I'll never forget that. I'll miss your wisdom, you know. Knock, knock, knock. Oh, hi. People usually knock outside. Oh <laughs> my god, it's him! <laughs> Who's he? You don't recognize him? It's Spike, the blood flower singer. <laughs> the one and only. You were at the concert the other night. You noticed? Pinch me, I'm dreaming. Carol, stop! Go on, pinch me. Ow! Nope, he's still there. <laughs> so what can I do for Mr. Spike of the blood thingies? Blood, blood flowers! flowers. I'm Jade's mate. She told me about your bun fight. Now, the stuff about Esteban you should know. Bun fight? Oh, that's Jade all over. Listen, I'm not interested. Go and tell Jade if she's got something to say, then she can say it to me herself. <laughs> OK, keep your hair on. You've got a lot in common, like Jade said. Don't compare me to Jade ever. Looks like I've touched a sore spot. Anyway, let's change the subject. Anyone want an autograph from the latest pop rock sensation? I think I'm going to faint. Sorry to blackmail you, but you do me a favour, I'll give your friend an autograph. <laughs> oh, please, please, please! Smooth. Okay, but only because I want to know what other underhand tricks Jade's been up to. Here, just follow the instructions and come and find me in an hour. Careful, not a minute more or less, or bye-bye, Mr. Autograph. Late's my middle name, that's going to be tough. Time to break the habit, Princess. Later! What did he call me? Princess, he called you princess. Oh, you're so lucky. <laughs> What's a bun fight? I've never heard that term. Oh, great. I've got. Well, I've got 10 minutes. I have a map. Okay, I'm guessing I'm going to that place that I went to last time. Um, so. Uh, take the second right, and then... Uh, I'll get there. <laughs> Gotta hurry. I know the place he's talking about. Like, I'm pretty sure it's the place that I saw in the picture with the cabin and things, but... 
it's gonna be um, kind of tricky to get there but I think if I just keep working my way up the mountain we should get to where I need to be my map again. Oops. Alright, so I'm like... I don't know where I am. I crossed a bridge. Oh, no, I'm here. I just crossed that bridge. And then if I keep... Ugh, you know what? I'm just gonna wing it <laughs> and hope I get there. I think I know the general direction I need to go. Just, like, keep going up the hill. And then, um... And then I should get there, right? I need to get to the place with the gate, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. Pretty, Cause that's what the place that was in the picture, like the place that I met Esteban last time, I think that's where I need to go. So, oh, is that it there? I think that's it right there. That's where I need to go, right? If not, then I'm screwed. I think this is where I'm meant to go. Oh, but it's closed. Oh. Is this not where I was meant to go? Or maybe it is, but I just need to hop off by horse. Why is the gate closed though? Oh, here we go. The gate is locked. There's a message written on the rock on the other side, but I'm too far away to read it. Okay, so I need to use my camera. Yeah, I think so. Uh, okay. Key under rock. It's a picture of a red rock with a key underneath. No doubt the key to the gate. Okay, so I'm looking for a red rock. I don't know where I've seen a red rock. <laughs> um, red rock, red rock. I don't know where I've seen a red rock. Let's look around. I know I've seen one somewhere. Was it down by the train station or is it somewhere else? I don't know. Let's have a look up here. Is there a red? Oh, that's a rock and it's red. Is this the one I'm meant to go to? Or is this just the shading that makes it look red? Oh, nope. There's the red rock in the picture and there's a key underneath. Perfect. So I have the key now? Yep. Oops, I can use that now. That was easy. <laughs> I thought it'd be much more difficult to find. Alright. Let's go back. Oops, sorry. Sorry, um... What is his name again? Rebel! That's my horse's name. I completely forgot what his name was. Alright. Let's hop off. Let me hop off. Let me hop off. Let me... Oh, I think I'm maybe too close to the gate or something. It's kind of finicky. Okay. Now can I... Now can I hop off? Now can I... There we go, finally. Oh, oh no, I need the key. <laughs> Here we go. And time to spare. Pretty sure I need to hop off my horse to go through this area. Yep. Ooh. So, what did you want to talk about? You didn't come all this way to talk music. Sounds like you're pleased to see me. I never liked you very much, so please, save the two-faced to small talk. Jade's trying hard to get Birdie's Academy on the road, and she's not happy you poached her best pupil. The music's so loud. Poach her! <laughs> That's Jade, the drama queen all over. Her last hope is old enough to make her own decisions. That's what I told her. I also suggested that maybe you were sweet on her, so you couldn't be blamed for trying to keep her within arm's reach. Are you as dumb as you look, Spike? You know perfectly well I feel nothing for the kid, the same way I felt nothing for Jade at the time. It's so easy to wrap women around your little finger when you know how. I don't agree, but you must have your reasons for being so twisted. 
reasons of my own. Of course I have. I spent a year of my life in prison waiting for the moment to get revenge. That moment is now. Jade has lost her rising star. Her academy is on his knees and mine is heaven bound. Understand now? The game is over! Loud and clear. And me too, I'm through with playing. <laughs> oh! What are you doing? Sticking to my choices, even the most impulsive. A friend taught me that recently. Jade won't be losing her rising star Sunday, so get ready to be brought down to earth with a loud bang. Uh, there's no need for you violence. Me. <laughs> Do you think so? In that case, I'm not to start. You will pay for these at the competition. Great right hook, don't you reckon? <laughs> Spike was really annoying um, in the first game, but I like him in this game. Uh, I'm going to actually end this episode here and next time we'll go to the shops. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.